Hi everyone, it's Christina with The Reading Scoop. I wanted to share with you some of the best new picture books and a couple board books as well. I'm gonna start off with Lights Out Leonard. If you have a child that struggles to stay in bed because they might be scared of the dark or scared of some of the creatures that might be under their bed, this is the book for you. He is also scared of the dark and sometimes he wants to just sleep with the lights on until he finds the book, How to Frighten Monsters. One of the ways to frighten them, minty breath, get your children to brush their teeth, tidy bedrooms, teddy bears, and kisses from parents. So he conquers his fears and he is able to sleep with the lights off. Super cute. Next up, my book, not yours. We have a sloth and a fox. Sloths, you know what they like to do? They like to sleep. So very early on in the book, you can tell, sloth just wants to take a nap. And so fox, swings in and tries to take over the story. Throughout the whole story, they're arguing over whose book it is in a hilarious adventure. Next up, speaking of brushing our teeth, time to brush. We have five animals and five cups with five toothbrushes throughout the story, including Lion and his toothbrush. So you can match the toothbrushes with the cups at the beginning. You can also play along and it does have a sing-songy rhyme. It's time to brush back and forth, up and down, clean, clean, clean. Next up we have Super Baby. Super Baby is always leaving the crib to go save the troubles around the neighborhood. Now what's funny about this one is that we find out her twin brother was actually the one starting the crime in the first place. This is a sweet and Adorable take on twins. Fair Shares is definitely one of my new favorites. Hare and Bear are trying to reach the pears, but they can't figure out what's fair. So they take, they take chairs, but they figure out that if they give each of them one, Hare still can't reach. So Hare gets two and Bear gets one, and that's fair. It is a sweet book about sharing, which we all need to learn more about, and it's a fun rhyme as well. What If I Know My Shapes? This is a new book from Michelle Nelson Schmidt. This I love because it takes it uh, shapes a little bit further than you would normally see. So not only can you learn shapes, but you can also learn some drawing techniques and see how shapes work together to create bigger things. Luna loves art. Luna loves art and she goes on a class trip. What she finds out is not everybody loves art as much as she does. Some of the art makes Finn, her classmate, sad. So this is a story about art, about how art can bring out different emotions in us and also how to make and be a good friend. Last but not least, I have Draw Me a Story. In this, Anna, it's just reading stories and then some of the characters start to talk to her and they want her to draw her to draw them into a new different story. Little Red Riding Hood says, yes, yes, it's me. I've had it up to here. Every time you read this story, I end up in the wolf's belly. So what she does is she takes different characters and she draws them a new story. And this is the story of how Anna became an illustrator. That's what it says at the end. Really cute book, great for um, building on imaginations. Hope you enjoyed these books. Make sure to star the ones you like, um, and I'll see you throughout the party.